What's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Planetary Retro Gun Master. We're going to be continuing this challenge on the NA server as you guys have voted for in the poll. Now I had a really cool idea. I'm going to use one of my other accounts that was already high in MMR but with Zerg. It's my proxy hatch account. Which means we're going to be starting in Grandmaster but we have provisional MMR. So if we get a really good streak going, we can get super super high in playing as the best players on the server. Let's begin. All right, first game is going to be against a 4-8 Terran. Wait, actually, I know it's been a while since I've been doing my challenges on the NA server, but I actually remember this name. I feel like we must have played against him in, yeah, I don't even know which challenge. Proxy Astro Gun Master, perhaps, or maybe Marine Medifactor Gun Master back in the day. Now, let me get my beautiful teal back. There we go. Now, this is going to be the first Planetary Rush game on the NA server, and how are we going to execute it? I'm not 100% sure yet, um, but I do think it's going to be a really cool test. Actually, in yesterday's episode, or two days ago, I'm not sure of speedrunning SE2. I talked about how cheesing on the NA server is pretty funny because the players are like a little bit more cheesy. So you either play against players that are super good at dealing with cheeses or they cheese you themselves. Uh, and I think it's actually going to be really funny to see how it works out to planetary rush these people. Is it actually going to work? Are we really as good at planetary rushing as we thought? And that's all going to be a very cool experiment here. Now, I do think we got a really good map for the first try. Well, realistically, it's a little bit on the big side, but I really love maps that have no ramp in the natural. It's the same when I do proxy hatches, the same when I do planetary rushes. It just makes attacking so much easier. Um, I guess for some builds, it can it can differ. Like, I like to give, like, full information, right? I would say if you're doing, like, a 1-1-1 one, one, one tank push against Protoss with, like, a Liberator, let's say, you would love there to be a ramp because the Liberator can just seize the entire ramp and just keep control. And your opponent's units are going to bunch up like crazy trying to go down the ramp, and that's really nice for you. So it's not always the case, but for most of my mean builds, obviously, because I play pretty weird with uh, Proxy Nexus and Flat Terra, and Proxy Hatches and stuff, uh, it is quite nice if there is no ramp indeed. Now... Have I decided on a strategy yet? I don't think so. I kind of am tempted to go for the Cyclone strategy just because it seems like the most solid, seems like it has a lot of micro potential. I think the last time we did this, I actually did win with Reaper Hellion, if I remember correctly. Now, my opponent was scouting around his base, which is uh, a little bit strange considering he's playing double gas, but I, I guess we'll roll with it. Uh, I guess he really is. Wait, what is my name actually? I'm not sure what my name is. Wait, am I playing under... Well, I will type good luck and fun. Yeah, okay, there you go. My name is Where Am I? Wait, I could probably just see that right here, right? Oh, no, actually, I can't. Okay, that's interesting. Anyway, uh, you might recognize the name because I've done a, a lot of different challenges on this account, and that might be why he's scouting around his base. I was actually considering naming this account a barcode. I actually thought I already did it, to be fair, uh, but maybe I'll do it after if I feel like it. Now, this seems like a pretty good place to build a command center. I have to admit... I'm not completely aware of the standard scouting pattern for the Reaper. So if you were to click the Reaper right across the map, I'm not sure exactly where it would end up. Now, if you can kill this SCV, it's already huge. Okay, his Reaper is here. Uh, I think we can probably out-micro this. Yeah, he went for a reactor. Grenade should be pretty good. There we go. We get a hop. It's, if his micro is really good, I might be able to get this still. Let's see. Oh, that is so close. Please don't die. I love you, Reaper. If you don't die, I'll promote you to commander or something. Promise. No! Well, that's his own fault. You can't blame me, guys. I told you, I had the intention to promote him. He just wasn't interested. You can't blame me for that one. Oh, that Hellion was actually a little bit faster than I expected. Wait, this? I know this sounds crazy, guys, but this might actually be working out in my favor here because he's not going anywhere near this command center. Now, I'm just going to move this up to heal as much as possible. And then I'll go to the right side. Let's see if the grenade is perfect. Oh, yes. There we go. Actually, a perfect grenade. That's fantastic. And now I'm going to be able to get uh, my engineering bay up. And he still has no idea that I have a commander next to his base. My cyclone might even deny the scout on my natural. That would be massive. Let's see. Okay, he hasn't been able to scout my natural yet. I actually don't need that depot because I have the command center. That is something I do tend to forget. And we're going to kill a Reaper really fast. That is awesome. I'm going to throw a grenade to bring myself to safety. And then I'm going to fly this command center into his base. And now he sees I'm on one base and he decided to go back. This is definitely the kind of game where I might want to do a follow-up as well. Like get a command center in my own natural. My command center is already flying. I'm... I really wish I had some more pressure than this. Uh, I think I'm, I should probably go for the natural here, actually. So he finds my... I wonder if he... This is funny. Do you guys think he realized that that SCV built a command center? Because obviously, why the hell was that SCV there, right? Oh, this would be funny. I would love to find out whether he actually knew uh, what was going on because of that SCV. Now, I got my double cyclone uh, on the way. I think... 
I'm gonna put it like right here, really close. Let's see, he's gonna try to deny it, but I, oh my god, he's gonna lose two Reapers instantly. This is absolutely beautiful. Let's see if I can throw a grenade. He's gonna lose even more. He's trying so hard to block the command center, guys, but he's losing all of his units for it. This is absolutely fantastic. This is another one of those cases of the planetary just absolutely crushing because people just feel the need to kill it 100%. Now, I do have to admit these cycles are low HP, so it's not... Uh, you know, gonna be completely free here. That's for sure. Did I... Okay, I can actually cancel the lock on there. That's very nice. Now, I'm gonna go for a third command center as well. I think this is definitely the kind of game where I need to go for a follow-up. I don't have an SCV, but I do have a lot of stuff. If he... I think he doesn't have a tank yet, so I'm just gonna go for this. Let's see. Can we get the Cyclone? We are gonna get the Cyclone. Everything is gonna stay alive. Or those Marines might all fall. Especially if he sticks around and there we go. The Marines die as well. I can actually go for a scan here and kill those. Oh, even... I didn't even need the Cyclones. The Planetary killed them without even needing... Uh, the cyclones there and i think once again we have found ourselves into a fantastic spot with this planetary rush and i think now all i have to do is just make sure uh, i repair it as much as possible he has a banshee okay that's pretty interesting uh, i guess i'll go for a turret at home i mean i should be able to gun down the banshee as well uh, to be fair let's see if i can actually reach out there we go gonna get one lock on wait yeah, I, I kept vision there for a long time. No, that seemed kind of weird that I had vision for so long. I kind of wish I had another scan here so I could actually get uh, some more done. He did make a cyclone instead of a tank, which is super good for me, by the way. I have to admit, that seems like a, a pretty decent mistake by him here. Now, I'm going to start getting my turrets up because I haven't seen the Banshee in a little bit. Okay, there's the tank now. Planetary stayed up for a long time. Let's see. Okay, I got a lock up to the Banshee. Do I have a scan? I don't have a scan, sadly. This planet here is staying alive for so freaking long, by the way. Let's see. I'm going to do a scan here. Just so I can... Oh, wait. The Banshee's taking so much damage, guys. If he doesn't have Cloak, he's going to lose the Banshee. And he's lost so many Marines to that as well. He's following me because he doesn't think I have a lock on. But I might be able to just micro my way out of this. Let's see. That Banshee's also going to fall. The planet is still freaking alive. Can you guys believe this rush right now? Wait, is this... Is everything going to stay up here? I've killed two Banshees already. I've killed a bunch of Marines with that scan I did. And I'm already on three bases here, guys. Now, I haven't, I haven't really saturated, to be fair. But this is looking pretty decent. Now, I'm bringing the rest of my Cyclones in. I kept a lot of them at home. Uh, mostly because I thought a Banshee might come across. And now he's starting to target my SCVs. But check this out, guys. Magfield is going to finish. And I'll be able to scan the tank and kill it. Now, obviously... Uh, I do need a little bit of fortune. It's definitely a very risky move here, but I am going to go for it. I think he's out of range now. Okay, so he has another tank on that side. I think I should be able to get this one from this side. If I'm... Okay, so we're going to get the Cyclone and those C6. Wow, okay, this is going... The, the planetary killed the tank! Did you guys... I didn't even notice that, guys. The planetary kills the freaking tank. And Cacti has got an absolutely annihilated... Guys, this was just art. Like, I... I don't even know what to say. This was freaking beautiful. 1,479 resources lost against 3.5k with a planetary rush. This could not have gone any better. I feel like I barely lost anything. I don't even know how I lost 1,500 resources. I mean, realistically, I probably lost most of the resources by repairing. But I have three CCs. I managed to kill all of his marines, all of his cyclones, all of his tanks, deny his natural with a planetary rush. Guys, this could not have gone any better. Let's go to game number two. All right, get oh, all right then. Yeah. Uh, game number two is against a 5-9 Protoss. Okay, that, that's like... What is that, like rank 5 on an A or something? Rank Probably like rank 10, actually. Rank 10 to 15, I guess, not rank 5. I think the highest MMR is like 6.3. Anyway, uh, that's a very big difference from the last game. I didn't even know I could get someone that high MMR already, but it's going to be an incredible challenge, and I'm all up for it. Now, we are playing on the map with a ramp this time. Uh, so maybe the Cyclone strategy is already going to be a little bit worse. The problem here is, is that I'm not completely aware of his playstyle. Let me see. Actually, wait. Yeah, I do think this is Rocker's account. Rocker is a cannon rusher. Uh, so there's a really good chance we're going to get cannon rush. What should I do against a cannon rush? Probably make Hellions. But actually, I need to do this smart. Because keep in mind, winning against the cannon... This sounds really crazy to say, by the way. But winning against the cannon rush is actually not my first priority. My first priority is to do a planetary rush. Because that's what this whole challenge is about. And the second priority is uh, playing an absolutely amazing game and winning, right? So I wanted to go for a gas first. Because with a gas first, you can get Hellions out really fast. And those can counter the cannon rush by sneaking into the mineral line. But if I play gas first, uh, there's a very early probe already. If I play gas first, I wouldn't be able to get my command center up if I get cannon rush. Because you spend a lot of money defending a cannon rush. Uh, and that would be problematic. Now, I haven't seen a pylon yet. So that is one thing. I'm still going to follow the probe though. Because I do know that this guy uh, is most likely a cannon rusher. Uh, so I'm just going to keep an eye out for him. 
Gonna go my double gas here. Still no pylon down, right? I feel like at this point we could probably dip and forget. Unless we see something over here. Doesn't look like it. So I'm gonna make a marine, actually. I'm gonna make a marine because I want to make a factory. I want to go for some Hellions. Um, and I'm actually surprised we didn't get Canaris. I was pretty sure it was a Canaris, but maybe I just confused uh, two players. It's actually quite possible. Um, so in that case, my bad uh, for confusing you if you're watching the video. <laughs> I really was convinced I was going to get Canaris there, but all good. I'm going to pull a few extra SCVs out of gas, because keep in mind, I do have to afford a proxy command center at some point. Let's see what we have here. There is an expansion, but no pylon. That is a little bit strange. Let's see if there's anything in the main base. There's a cybernetic score and a gateway. Uh, what time did I scout at? I don't quite remember. There's also no second gas. This looks a little bit suspicious to me, guys. No second gas. But I might have just scouted too early. Let's see. What am I supposed to do against this? This SCV is super low HP as well. I feel like if I proxy a command center, it's going to get one tap by something. Yeah, for, for some reason, it didn't quite feel right. Now, I always tell you guys, I'm not really that much of a timing man. But it does feel like a second gas was a little bit late there. Now, I think I'm just going to YOLO it and make another... Uh, or make Hellions anyway. Uh, because that's the strategy I honestly wanted to go for. I do need to send out this SCV so we can make a star port. Maybe this SCV can actually see if there's something on the way to my base as well. This is one very underestimated thing in Starcraft is that... The more units you have out on the map, for whatever reason, the more scouting you have, you know? So even just doing something very simple, like sending an SCV out on the map, in this case, it, it, it actually has a purpose because I want to make a star port with it. It's very good for scouting. And you can actually defend stuff just by having sent out that SCV. I'm going to start slowly resaturating this. My depot actually finished at a better timing than I would have expected. Now, I do hope my opponent is not going to play Stargate because that has kind of been the natural predator of this Hellion style. If it's an adept across the map, I could actually kill it, though. That'd be massive. Should I go for Widowmines or more Hellions? I feel like this is always the decision I have to make. I think I'm going to go for... No, I'm actually going to make Widowmines. I was going to make Hellions first. But I also want to have enough minerals, and Widowmines are a little bit cheaper on the minerals. There we go. I'm actually going to use both of these SUVs with the Rush, because why not? I think it could be pretty nice. Matter of fact, got supply blocked a little bit, which is annoying. There's a Phoenix in my base that could be a fake Phoenix. Let's see. Okay, so he has a battery. Um, I think we're going to have to do this the smart way. Yeah, I'm going to go... What sucks here, guys, is that my medevac was supply blocked for just a little bit. Which means that my Hellions are not going to be able to accompany this planet there. I yeah, I think I would legit be smarter if I actually waited for it. I'm even going to start an armory because I have the, the time anyway. Let's see, medevac, hurry the hell up, please. There you go. And then I'm going to put it down over there. And then I'm going to follow it up with my widow mine drops with an armory ideally okay he did oh my god okay he's very aware of what's going on here then i'm just gonna run into the natural i suppose i'm just gonna use these how many how many units does he have yeah he doesn't have that many units he just walled off that's what he did okay so my planetary actually got to land which is nice but do i have enough to do any real damage here that is the question I'm going to try to go for the main base. And now I'm going to do a sneaky repair. Look, he might not expect this repair. He's kind of getting out. Uh, wait, do I have another medevac? Wait, I thought I made another medevac. Oh, no, that actually does really suck, guys. I was really convinced I had another medevac here. And now I'm going to have to use the same one. Let's see if I can micro this one away. And, oh, this is actually really good time. That was at least five seconds that I bought there, I believe. And now the widow mines arrive. I'm going to have to switch these, get four widow mines in the medevac. And just kind of fly over here, see what I can do. Should be pretty decent damage, actually, against... Especially if I get the Stalkers. The Medivac does go down. I'm actually going to drop a mule there to repair. I also have another SCV on the way, which is going to be super, super nice. He hasn't targeted the mule yet, which is actually very nice. The Stalker on the top dies. Can I kill that Stalker, maybe? Actually, oh, no, he has an Immortal. Oh, that's going to be super tough here. The Immortal is going to kill my stuff here. Uh, and it sucks that I didn't have that extra Medivac. I really thought I had another Medivac on the way, but it's not completely over yet. I can still do a lot of damage here. Let's try to get these over there. Oh, this is going to be a really nice timing here. I'm going to get these all together. And he might not realize. Guys, there's a possibility. I'm going to kill a million probes if he doesn't pay attention. Oh, no, he did pay attention. That's unfortunate for us. But obviously to be expected uh, from a high MMR player like this. Now, do I have something else that I can do uh, to make this a better situation for me? That's what I'm wondering about right now. Let's try to get these back. I have. I thought I had one more widow mine, actually, but I guess I don't. So I'm just going to send these back. Uh, wait, was that... Ch he has charge, right? I did it. Am I crazy or did I just see that he has charge? Did he make charge over anything else? Okay, that's pretty insane. Okay, there we go. Wait, I might be able... No, I was going to say I might be able to target that observer. That would have been really nice. See if I can get out of all of these. Well, if he doesn't have blink, 
I can just keep annoying him with this medevac forever. But yeah, the fact that he has charge that means that he is probably gonna kill my uh, my base here. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do against charge ult, especially if he's gonna follow that up with uh, a war prism, for example, or maybe like an immortal drop plus war prism. Uh, those things would be super, super difficult to deal with. But I guess we'll see. I'm just going to try to be as annoying as possible with this. He has some stalkers there, so I'm not going to go in. He doesn't have any gases yet. That makes me feel like he is uh, actually quite all in with this. Maybe it would be a good choice. Um, should I bring this back, actually? I'm going to bring it back a little bit. I'll put it there or something. So it's just a little bit more safe. Not too safe. You don't want to be too safe with Terran, of course. You need to keep uh, you know, the risky vibes alive. Now, since he doesn't have gases... I should probably go for Widow Mines, I think. It feels a little bit sketch to go Widow Mines against someone with a fast Robo because they're going to get, uh, you know, potentially Colossi out. And Colossi are super good against Widow Mines. But since he did get charged really fast, it might be smart for me uh, to just switch to Widow Mines and then try to hit a decent timing. Going to keep dropping these Widow Mines as well later on to get uh, more and more economic damage done, of course. Uh, I do want to make combat shields in time. I'm kind of scared that we're going to get attacked still. I'm actually going to send one SCV out to scout. Nothing more, just one SCV. That should be just enough. Let's get, get these back to mining. And I do need to scout if he has a third base as well. That's going to be an important point. If he doesn't have a third base, I don't really have to do anything. If he does have a third base, I have to get out there immediately. Like, the thing that sucks, if you do a build this committed, like, obviously, most people don't do planetary rushes, right? But if you do a build this committed, what kind of happens is your natural gets saturated so late that your main already starts mining out. So here you can see... Um, I already mined out one full mineral patch, so my income is not quite what it would be normally for a two-base saturation, so I'm not going to be able to get uh, a third base at a decent timing, really. So let's see what he's going to go for. He must have the gases now. Okay, so he's going to start building Colossi now, most likely. And I'm going to tr try to hit a timing when he has just one and potentially when he has no battery yet. Maybe if I'm lucky, I can even sync it with my Widow Mine drop in the main. Stim and combat shields are probably going to... It's actually going to be close. They're probably going to finish in time. Uh, but yeah, I, I'll i have to see. I'm not quite sure what the length of the map is and stuff. Let's see. There is the Robo Bay. He's actually making a cannon in his mineral line, which is quite interesting. Let's see if this can do some damage. If I keep one Widow Mine alive, that would be nice. Because then I can drop it again in his natural and waste more of his time. Or more of his attention, rather. Let's see. Okay, he's actually losing a lot of uh, APM here. I know that sounds crazy to say, but he is really losing a lot of APM. I don't think he has a Colossus here, guys. I think he's just going to lose this base for free right now. Yeah, there you go. Exactly what I was talking about. That distraction worked out perfectly. And now I can make my third base without being too far behind. And that's going to be fantastic. Let's see. Does he have anything too scary here? I'm not sure. Let's see. His army... Yeah, his army looks massive, actually. I think I got a dip from this. I'm just going to lift the tanks. There you go. And I'm just going to run for my life. And then I'll do... Can I fit this with my drop in anywhere? Let's see. That might actually be a decent shot. Can I hit that? Barely not, I think. I'm just going to keep it AFK for a bit. Uh, and then I have to hide here for my life. Let's burrow it again. He's... I'm not sure if he's chasing me completely, actually. But his army did seem scary enough that I do have to keep running away if he did. But we did manage to kill his base, which is fantastic. I do have a lot of widow mines that I'm... At this point, not sure if I want any more. Is he gonna attack me? He could. I'm not sure if it's a good idea, but he could. I'm just gonna keep two of these widow mines here. Uh, and then I have two more on the way here. Exactly. I'm gonna cancel the next two. So I can afford a couple more barracks. And then I'll just try to uh, drop him again with some Widow Mines. Do I have Concussion Shells? I do not have Concussion Shells yet. I do have my plus one on the way. Oh, wait, I forgot. For so Dude, I completely forgot my Starport was there, actually. I kind of was just rallying my uh, my stuff across. And I didn't even remember that my Starports were just hard chilling there. Now, I have 55 SEVs. It's a pretty crazy scenario. I don't even know if I want more than 55 here. He's making a Templar Archives. Oh, Dude, he keep, stop paying attention, man. Let me kill all your workers already. It's getting quite annoying at this point, I have to say. I really thought I was going to kill his workers already a few times, but he just keeps responding on time, which uh, I don't really appreciate, to be honest. Now, let's get some extra scouting over here. Um, okay, he doesn't have that base, it looked like, so that's nice. I can actually use this marine to scout for it as well. Going to get a bunker. And let's see, he's, he's really turtling up pretty hard. I think the smartest approach here is to actually play a macro game from this. Uh, I do like to finish my opponents when I can, though. I'm not quite sure if I'll have a window for it. But maybe with Ghost, I can give it a shot. I think I should probably stop the Widow Mine jobs just because he's been so good against them. I mean, the distraction is always good, to be honest. But uh, he really has been exceptional at dealing with those. 
I think almost any other Protoss would have lost so many workers already to those Widow Mines, but he has been doing a really good job. Probably make a turret here against like any kind of DTs. Let's see. Any move. His army looks really scary, I have to say, guys. I'm not, I'm not excited about going up against that army uh, at any point, really. And let's get a second engineering bay. And I do have to be smart here. I said I didn't really want to make more than 55 workers, but I don't really see uh, me killing him anytime soon here. Um, so I think I'm just going to have to transition to the macro game. Gotta get this gas saturated as well. I do want to start a fourth base at some point, else it's going to be a little bit late. Sensor tower would be really nice as well. Just trying to get all my basic base defenses up, you know. Uh, the kind of kind of defense that you really want to make every single game. Pretty much in every matchup as well. Now, he's probably still at home. Um, even if he attacked me, well, if he attacked me, I would actually be scared. I was going to say I'd be confident, but no, realistically, I would be pretty scared. I do have a little bit of space there for another um, command center. So he is over here. Let's see what I can do against that. I don't have to hurry against this at all. I think th this fight actually looks fantastic for me. He's losing a bunch of units very easily for free here. And I have enough Vikings that I can deal with his Colossi. Oh, he does have 2-2. Two, two. It's really good that I scouted that. He does have 2-2. Two, two. That is uh, something that I really need to be careful for. His upgrades are going to be way better than mine. Yeah, that's actually going to be a big problem, guys. His upgrades are so much better that I can easily get crushed in a fight. Now, I'm just going to kill the Robo Bay, actually. Might make it easier uh, to not have to play against Disruptors later on. I'm actually going to split my army a little bit. Okay, so he has a battery overcharge. That means we're going to dip. Let's see. Is he going to come from that angle? I think it would be pretty decent for me if he actually came from that angle. Just because I uh, already have a nice concave going. And no... Oh. It looked like he was going to see my starboard on accident there for a second. That would have been tragic. Yeah, man, these 2-2 upgrades are really pulling through for him. I feel like I would have killed way more Stalkers normally. Now, if I want to go for a fully-fledged transition, I also have to get, get my air attack upgrades. I... The reason I'm scared to go into a macro game now is just because I'm so far behind in the upgrades. Like, with Chrono Boost, he might legitimately have 3-3 three, three against 1-1 one, one at some point. And if I fight that, I mean, I know my micro is pretty good, but uh, I'm not sure if I could micro my way out of that one. That would be incredibly difficult. Now, I did kill his Robo Bay, so at least there's not going to be too many disruptors. Maybe none at all. At least for a little bit, obviously, he's just going to be rebuilding that Robo Bay. Try to saturate this base. Just gonna keep moving around. Uh, probably want to have widow mines on both sides. I think that's the smartest. Now, normally I wouldn't make that many ghosts, but thinking about it, guys, he if he doesn't have disruptors, more ghosts is actually gonna be pretty good. Because the the biggest yeah natural predator to the to the ghost is just the disruptor, really. His ar army here does not look that strong. I have to admit. Maybe there's actually a fight I can take. Let's see. I'm gonna get one colossus pretty early, I think. Let's see, he's going to blink forward. Good micro by him. And now I'm just going to drop some fat EMPs. Look at the Archons just disappear. Oh my god. All the Archons are just gone instantly. And now we're going to be able to kill the Immortals as well. Now, do I want to push forward here? Do I have enough EMPs? Uh, I'm not sure, actually. I think it might be wise to back off momentarily, heal up my stuff. Uh, wait for my 2-2 probably more than anything else. Uh, wait, actually, I, I didn't even notice I had three engineering bays. I completely forgot that I did, you know, a uh, planetary fortress rush. That's pretty funny, honestly, <laughs> considering that's my entire strategy for this. I mean, somehow, if you end up in, like, these super normal macro games, you uh, kind of forget, you know, what, what, what happened to start it. Now, he's being very brave here. Does he have to three? I didn't... 3-2, yeah. So 3-3 is going to finish really soon. My 2-1 is finished. My 2-2 is not finished yet. But I think if I gather all of my units, I should be able to have a really strong pusher, especially with the Ghost. Especially if there's no more Disruptors. Yeah, his army looks pretty tiny here, I have to admit. I do have a lot of misleading Vikings, though. Uh, that's something you have to uh, be careful with. Let's see. Does, does he not have a battery here, actually? Where's the battery at? Does he want to fight without a battery? I mean, that'd be pretty crazy, to be honest. I can just kite this forever. I think that'd be really nice. I did see a disruptor there. Exactly. Okay. So he is going for disruptors. Let me get some EMPs on those. He's trying to get my girls, but I'm not going to let that happen. And I believe that's probably the final disruptor and probably his final hope as well. And there we go. Let's get another EMP. I'm actually going to land these Vikings. As long as I split the bio, there's nothing that can really happen here. That disruptor killed absolutely nothing. Well, actually, it killed one ghost. That's kind of rude. Let's kill the pylon, forcing that warp in. We're going to kill all of the units. A Euthermal Smurf at rank 10 GM. Yes. A rank 10 GM Smurf. <laughs> <laughs> That's what pure copium right there, guys. If you guys don't know what copium means, you should look it up. This is what pure copium looks like. A uh, thermal swerve against a 6k Grandmaster Protoss player doing a planetary rush. Honestly, 
I think. I'm not gonna judge him too harshly for this because obviously he just lost the game. He got planetary rush, it's frustrating. But it's a little bit embarrassing to talk about smurfing when you're 6k and like rank 10 GM getting planetary rush, okay? That's that's not a great look. But I think this was a fantastic game. It was actually quite long after all. 16 minutes. Let's see what the unit's loss looks like. 11k against 19k. That is absolutely brutal. And I would love to see quickly if we were ahead after the planetary rush or not. Because I think we were slightly behind until we kill the third base. Because the planetary rush worked pretty well. Like, the planetary killed a lot of units. Let's see what the situation is like. Um, two Immortals out. It was charged. Oh, yeah. Charge already finished. Double Forge. Yeah, we're definitely behind. We were actually more than a little bit behind, to be honest. Robo Bay finished. Two Immortals out. Double Forge. Third base. No 30C in sight. So we really managed to come back with a macro game, which is awesome. And see, guys, Planetary Rush is a perfect macro, but you can transition for it. But anyway, I think this was a pretty some tiring games. So I'm going to keep it at two games for this episode. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all for the next one. Adios.